Iran, has consistently amazed the world, especially in the military arena, since the 1979 Iranian Revolution, which changed the country's political system from a monarchy to an Islamic republic. According to state media, Iran has bolstered its air defense capabilities by incorporating combat drones that are outfitted with air-to-air -air missiles into its arsenal. According to the official IRNA news agency, dozens of drones equipped with air-to-air -air missiles have been added for air defense in all border areas of the country. The drones, which have a 1,000-kilometer or 620-mile operating range, were on display Sunday morning at a military school in Tehran during a televised event. General Abdul Irahim Mousavi, the head of Iran's army, was reported as stating that the enemies will now have to rethink their strategies due to the country's troops having become more powerful. The agency also stated that the Karar Interceptor drone, the first of which was introduced in 2010, is outfitted with an 8-kilometer thermal missile that is made entirely in Iran. According to Mousavi, it succeeded in its operational tests during military drills in October. Many nations, especially the sworn adversaries of the Islamic Republic, the United States, and Israel, are concerned about the growth of Iran's military weapons. Iran has even made its neighbors, including Saudi Arabia, Israel, and others, wary of themselves. There is an obvious cause. Iran's weapons technology has been developing at a rapid speed. The country's rise to prominence as a manufacturer of cutting-edge military drones is a great example in the contemporary world. For example, the recently publicized Shahed 149 Gaza combat drone is said to be the most advanced and largest drone ever made by Iran. As such, it is intriguing to investigate the capabilities of the Shahed 149 from every angle and how it adds to Iran's hegemonic presence in the Middle East, raising concerns among many countries. As claimed, the Shahed 149 Gaza drone instantly became the most advanced and largest drone, creating a new emblem of Iran's combat strength in terms of size. Shahed is significantly bigger than previous drones in its class. It is 33 feet long, 69 feet wide, and 10 and a half feet tall. Its maximum weight is 3.2 tons. The Shahed 149 Gaza drone has a striking resemblance to the American-made MQ-9 Reaper drone. It is widely believed that Iran modeled the drone after studying the MQ-9 Reaper, which they either destroyed or seized. As a result, the engine compartments of the two drone types are almost similar. The Shahed 149 is the first drone in Iran to use a turboprop engine, powered by a 750 horsepower Pratt & Whitney Canada P26A25C engine. With this engine, the Shahed 149 Gaza can reach a maximum altitude of approximately 36,000 feet and reach speeds up to 217 miles per hour. Its range is approximately 4,350 miles. The endurance of this aircraft is what stands out the most about its flying capability. With an additional powerful engine, the American MQ-9 Reaper can only fly for 27 hours, while the Shahed 149 Gaza can fly continuously for 35 hours. The impressive avionic system and weaponry of the Shahed 149 Gaza are also equipped with weaponry, from what is known. The avionic system of the Shahed 149 includes sensors, cameras, and an advanced radar known as the Electro-Optical Infrared Sensor. The package for sensors and radars consists of multiple parts, including three different kinds of cameras, one that can magnify images up to 120 times, one that uses thermal imaging, and one that uses laser reconnaissance. There are also multiple types of radar, such as a stealth fighter jet sensor radar that can detect targets up to 310 miles away, and a ground surveillance radar that can cover 310 miles. Moreover, there is an integrated satellite communication system that links the Shahed 149 Gaza to ground units, such as command buildings and other weapons on the battlefield. As for weaponry, the Shahed 149 Gaza is still relatively limited. It can only carry 13 bombs. The question of whether the bombs carried by the Shahed 149 are the smart Kassad 3 bombs with a range of 62 miles raises, and if so, Iran's enemies certainly have cause for concern going forward. The Shahed 149 is projected to be capable of carrying other types of ammunition, such as air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missiles similar to the American MQ-9. Five are stored in internal storage, and eight more are attached to the wing hardpoints. 
The presence of the Shahed 149 Gaza with its capabilities expands Iran's portfolio of advanced drones and is a subject of debate. The Shahed 149 Gaza has been a noteworthy improvement to Iran's drone formation in recent times, particularly for carrying out attacks and eliminating ground forces. Based on simulations, it has been discovered that the Shahed 149 will be paired with Iran's well-known kamikaze drone, the Shahed 136 Turbo. Using the Shahed's 149 flying range and up to 35 hours of endurance, the first stage is to send it into combat. After the Shahed 149, the main source of data on assault targets, including their quantity and air defense requirements, will be, once all the necessary data has been gathered, a squad of Shahed 136 turbo drones is launched in the second step. Known for being inexpensive and powerful, these kamikaze drones, a mainstay of Iran's arsenal, have shown themselves time and time again on the battlefields, most notably in Ukraine, where Russia used them. With a flying speed of 115 miles per hour and a range of up to 1550 miles, these drones will overwhelm the enemy's air defense with their numbers. Once the enemy defense system has been overrun and subdued, the Shahed 136 can easily reach its target location. Then, as the last attacker, the Shahed 149 enters and drops the bombs it carries, completing the mission of attacking enemy ground sites. This sequence of attacks is advantageous because it is known to be less expensive and easier to control. It is evident that Iran is continuing to solidify its position as one of the Middle East military giants, so it makes sense that Iran consciously and firmly wishes to impose sanctions on Israel in the wake of the indiscriminate attacks on Gaza. Iran's stance likely stems from its military capability and confidence in being able to confront both Israel and the United States. Its long attack range, which ranges from 1240 to 1550 miles from Iran's borders, is taken into consideration. Iran and Israel have not had cordial political or economic ties, particularly since the Iranian Revolution of 1979, which was led by Rahala Khomeini. Iran and Israel have ceased all political and economic interaction. It makes sense that Iran continues to hold its anti-American and anti-Israeli views in the wake of the recent conflict between Israel Israel and Hamas in Palestine, which has attracted international attention, despite the United States and its allies imposing thousands of sanctions on the country. Khomeini specifically considered the United States as the Great Satan and Israel as a lesser Satan that is conceited and needs to be subdued. Iran is frequently cited as a leading advocate for Palestinian independence. Its support extends beyond politics, as seen in calls for sanctions against Israel and involves military assistance as well. Iran is also associated with two militia groups that are currently exerting pressure on Israel, Hezbollah and the Houthi. If the conflict escalates further, these militias may use the Shahed 149 law to launch attacks on Israel. What steps Israel and the US might take in response to such a scenario is still up for debate. Alright everyone, this concludes our video. Do make sure to like, subscribe, and comment below what you think of this move made by Iran to help Palestine. Goodbye.